Match day number 14 is upon us, and we head to Old Trafford for Manchester United hosting league-leading Arsenal. Big game here for United. This is really, uh, you know, a game where if they don't win this game and they don't walk out with points, their hopes for winning the title this season are pretty much gone from there. Not officially, but it does start to seem that way, that this United squad needs a bit of help. With this Arsenal squad coming off of the Domestic Cup Championship win, uh, very high spirits at the Emirates, but at Old Trafford... Let's see if spirits equal results. And it is Arsenal getting, getting us underway with Marcus Rashford back to Odegaard and to Joel and Tinnen back to Odegaard again. This Arsenal squad has been fantastic all season. This United squad has actually tried something a little bit different. Uh, they've tried to move Cancelo uh, in towards that midfield role. They've replaced, uh, I want to say it's... Rodrigo Benton Kerr they've actually ended up replacing. Let me see again. He, he did send it to me and I did do it. I just forget the guy's name. It's inwards to Kevin De Bruyne now. It's Martin Odegaard. Yeah, so Cancelo has replaced Benton Kerr in midfield and uh, Andrew Robertson starting uh, at the left back. Uh, Robinson starting at left back. Andrew Robertson, that's the guy that plays for... Uh, Wolverhampton nowadays. Good tackle there in midfield, and it's Timo Werner. To Holland, over to Sabosli, trying to move forward. Tackled by the Englishman, Juan Bisaka. Oh, but Paqueta back on it now. Paqueta to get past William Saliba here. That'd be a good move if he can. Inwards to Sabosli. It's Holland who's tackled and cleared away. Coming up uh, matches here today in match day 14. Next up, uh, we head to the Molyneux for Wolverhampton Wanderers as they face Crystal Palace. Crew Alexandra host Liverpool, and Ipswich will host Southampton in our final game of the day. Wrexham with the bye week, which uh, won't help them very much considering, uh, I want to say, the loss they took last time out. Yep, at the hands of Arsenal, 3-2 it was. And then not to mention that with the uh, domestic cup loss as well. Although that was a good game. And it's Mohamed Kudis who's tackled off the ball. That domestic cup fixture was a good game. It's a shame for, for Wrexham, who did end up losing it, but uh, either way, they fought well, went to extra time. It's going to be up for a corner here on the far side. the league table here, if I can find it, there it is, that corner swung in, headed by Jolinson, advantage was being played, oh well hang on, what's this, is it going to be a penalty here, Let's look at this again, well he's kind of gone shoulder into the back of Jolinson, is that the call? Oh, I don't know about that one, but Kevin De Bruyne is going to have a penalty here. And saved by Ederson. And very reminiscent of how it was in the domestic cup game between these two. In the semi-final, these two faced off. Very similar scenario where Ederson saves a penalty taken by Kevin De Bruyne. And it stays level. After 12 matches played... Arsenal lead the table at 22 points. That one hit, that one cleared away. Crew Alexandra and Crystal Palace tied at 19 behind. It's Kevin De Bruyne now. And that ball's going to go out of play for a goal kick. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne missing that penalty. I'm sure that one uh, not very happy there. Good save from Ederson. Well, let's be real about that. Fantastic save. But the top three look like Arsenal 22 points. Crew Alexandra. Crystal Palace behind at 19 points apiece. Wolverhampton at 18 points. Wrexham 18 points. United at 17. United's not that far off, off the top, despite being at in sixth place. Southampton at 14. Ipswich at 12. And Liverpool at 5. Players look out here for, obviously, Timo Werner for Manchester United. And Marcus Rashford for Arsenal. Leading scorers. Top two in the league. It's 
Robinson to Sabaslai. Back to Rodri. And it's Bardiol now up to Sabaslai to Piqueta. It's Timo Werner. I can't quite get it inwards. Odegaard to Kudus. Tackled by Piqueta, but still at the feet of Juan Misaka. Odegaard, tackled by Gomez almost to Rashford to De Bruyne. The shot off the chest of Ederson, and James will have to get that one away and does. Whole tackle here in the attacking third. Martinelli trying to get past Gomez, can't do it. Robinson will get it away. Paqueta to Sabaslai. Holland to Sabaslai. Holland again. And tackled by William Saliba. Even game so far despite the penalty. Huda stays on side here. Robinson trying to work in a tackle. Can't do it. It's Odegaard. To Rashford. Taken away. United so far have really yet to find any sort of attacking presence. They had the, the uh, effort not long ago by Erling Island, Of course, it was stopped by the Arsenal defense before it could materialize. Let's see if United can move forward now with Timo Werner. Second place in goal scored. Seven to Marcus Rashford's nine. What a fantastic campaign for the two of them. Especially considering that Timo Werner, I don't even believe, was drafted. He came in as a free agent. Erling Haaland to Werner as Paqueta tackled. There's Mohamed Kudus. Tackled off the ball then. Juan Bisaka loses it. There's Robinson. Interesting to give Robinson the start this time out, trying to uh, experiment with the squad. What I will say is that for the time being, they've held Arsenal at bay. It's Kevin De Bruyne. Martinelli may have Odegaard through here. In the way was Josko Vardiol. And one minute out of time. Cleared away well. I think Arsenal is going to get one last kind of look at an attack here before halftime. Throw it short. There's De Bruyne to Odegaard. Odegaard's got a couple of men in the middle here, but he's tackled by Vardiol and put out of the way. Oh, but it's going to be at the feet of Mohamed Kudus. But either way, official calls for halftime. Nothing separating the two sides. Of course, Arsenal had the penalty. Kevin De Bruyne took it, saved by Ederson fantastically. And since then, there's been nothing between the two sides. United having more possession. That kind of seems about right. Um, got more passes attempted. That seems about right, too. I mean, this Arsenal squad really... Both of these sides really need to kind of find some sort of breakthrough here. There's been nothing in it. There's Gomez. Timo Werner. Timo Werner trying to move inwards now, tackled. Gomez to Yosko Guardiol. Apologies about the shadowing, that looks awful. 
Timo Werner. That's Rodri. Timo Werner. Well, Martinelli's kind of gone a little bit too strong into the back then of Cancelo. Free kick here for United and a substitution being made. Looks like Paqueta will be replaced by Rodrigo Bentancur. Early substitution that only 50 some odd minutes in. Corner taken, headed towards goal, saved by Flecken. Good attack that time from United, really one of their only shots of the day so far. I think if United can draw a level with uh, Arsenal here, that'll be a good result for them. Move the gap to you know one point if results elsewhere. Boss line to Timo Werner now with Benton Kerr back to Rodri to Benton Kerr again. Here's Dominic Saboslai. Saboslai versus Juan Bisaka. Saboslai still working inwards, he's done well to this point. Trying to get it to Holland. I think it was kind of either miss hit or deflected. By the way, back to the feet of United here with Cancelo. To Sabaslai, back to Cancelo. Oh, Cancelo still. And it's Timo Werner now. Werner tackled. Oh, tackled again. It's Sabaslai. Dominic Sabaslai, the shot saved. He's trying to take it on the inside foot then. Saved by Flecken either way. Sabaslai will be replaced by Landro Trossard. Is that his name? That was right, yeah, Leandro Trossard, anyways. Holland with the corner, inwards towards Rodri, headed away by De Bruyne, up the back of the feet of Trossard now. It's Werner. Attack. United squad, pressing very deep into Arsenal's half in the recent minutes, still really nothing of it to show. the effort he's attempting to put in, trying to pressure as much as he can in the uh, attacking third here. William Saliba now over to Jolinton in midfield. Odegaard. Martin Odegaard over to Kevin De Bruyne. To Odegaard, Rashford, oh, nearly had a shot, but cleared away in time. And 20 minutes remain. Still nothing in it between the two sides. Trossard to Timo Werner, can't get it. Hope it's going to be a free kick here. The referee saw something he didn't like. And now it's Josko Fardiol trying to work inwards. And tackle. Odegaard to Malaysia on the left side, inwards to Odegaard. There's Rashford. Martinelli. Shot down in the way. I think this one's going to be out for a corner. Yep. Gomez with the flexion there before went out of play. Out for a corner. About 15 minutes remain here. Both sides yet to find a convincing attack. Martinelli with the corner. That one swung in. Headed away temporarily by Guardiol. Back at the feet of De Bruyne. Here's Odegaard. Odegaard to Martinelli. The shot and that one goes. Well, it took them to the 76th minute. But Arsenal strike first. With Gabriel Martinelli. De Bruyne did well to collect, not really headed away properly by Vardiol in the build-up to that. I think a better clearance, and that goal wouldn't have happened. Martinelli's able to take it on his left foot, gets past Ederson at the far post. Head and hands for the Manchester United supporters, that, uh, well, has to be said, more of the same. But still some time remaining here, wouldn't be surprised if Arsenal... Let one slip. That United squad was attacking very well uh, in the minutes building up to it. And Timo Werner now. Here's to Trossard. 
Rodri. Looking for Gomez, there it is. Gomez to Robinson. Robinson trying to work forward, has Trossard. Robinson. About 10 minutes remain here. Leandro Trossard trying to work inwards now. Benson Kerr to Holland. Holland working inwards, tackle. And now it's Mohamed Kudis with the ball in space. Back to Aaron Wan-Bissaka in defense. Holland trying to close him down inwards to William Saliba and out to Jolinton in midfield. Jolinton, does he slip it past James? Yes, he does. Martinelli on it. Inwards to Rashford. Rashford versus James here. James defends well this time. Out for a goal kick. And coming off the pitch then will be Robinson. In the place of, to replace him is Willock. Five minutes to go here. United down 1-0 at the hands of the league-leading Arsenal. Although for Arsenal, it has to be said, this has not been a fantastic game for them. They did strike first naturally. That's why they have the lead. But still, it, it was a very even game for the majority of it here. And they've came across lucky in a couple examples. That defense has really held up today, for the time being at least. That ball doesn't get to the feet of Erling Haaland, although it may now as he's swarmed in the corner. It's out for a goal kick. Here's the shot again. Yep. Afraid you get Martinelli in that position. He's never going to miss that. Klecken gets that one upfield. It's Timo Werner to Holland. Erling Holland, can he get past Jury and Timber? No, he can't, but can Cello make it the ball back? No. Going to probably be looking at at least two minutes at a time here. Four. That seems a bit much for what we've actually had. The first half, that would have made sense. We had the penalty in the first half, not this time. It's Juan Bisaka. Trying to work inwards now. Tackled, and now United have to move quickly here. Only two minutes in-game time left. Off the foot of Juan Bisaka, out for a throw. It's Gomez to Willock. Andrew Trossard. Towards to Willock. United moving well here, but Holland, Holland to Willock, miss hit. Trossard, Trossard still moving in now. Willock, Willock inwards, Timo Werner to Erling Holland. Holland, can he get it through? No, tackled. And that's going to do it. Arsenal, very close game with Manchester United. But it ends 1-0 in favor of the visitors. And I'm afraid that really should have been a game that United won. That squad looked good all game long. Credit to them. Left it late. Arsenal took advantage of the one mistake then by Osko Gvardiol and the poor clearance that he did make. And that'll do it for the first match of the day. Well, now we head to the Molyneux, which should be a fantastic game here as Wolverhampton hosts Crystal Palace. Remember, a couple of changes in this Wolverhampton squad now with the Crystal Palace defender of Andrew Robertson. Uh, and now also uh, on Crystal Palace, that of Cody Gakpo has been, was been included in that trade. It was a uh, big move between the two sides. And now, what will this game be? I mean, it should be... A fantastic one nonetheless, but two squads here. Not going to say desperate for points. Crystal Palace could move well in towards uh, the top end of the uh, top end of the uh, the league today if they're able to actually come away with some points. If Wolverhampton does the same, they'll kind of be in that same position. So interesting to see, and we're underway. I'm expecting this Wolverhampton squad to kind of come out swinging here. It's Luis Diaz. Erickson getting the nod in midfield today. It's Madison. And Sven Botman get Madison off the ball. No, it's actually going to be the man out wide of... Uh, who was that? Was that D Lucas Digne? <laughs> Raphael Varane kind of throws 
uh, Madison off the ball then. Or was that Kai Havertz? I couldn't quite tell. Also missing from this Wolverhampton squad, as, uh, as I'm sure you've already noticed by that point, Sandro Tonali, no longer part of the team. He's over at Wrexham now. That's Diogo Chota trying to work inwards. Can't get past Trent Alexander-Arnold. And now it's Madison trying to work forwards. Can't get past Rafael Varane for the time being. Virgil van Dijk in midfield now. There's Eriksen. And wide to Luis Diaz and back inwards to Eriksen. There's Eriksen. Gets it to Luis Diaz. Back over to Van Dijk. Tackled by Cody Gakpo, and oh look at this, the team that Cody Gakpo used to play for, is he going to find a goal here? No, wonderful save by Nick Pope. I mean, can we look at that one again? No, are they really not going to let us see that? That was a fantastic save by Nick Pope. Of course, Cody Gakpo tried to take it on his inside foot. That wasn't going to work very well. Uh, but he'll have the corner here. Looks as if uh, he's called Musa Diaby close. That ball swung in. Nobody in the middle. Oh, well, hang on a minute. No, it's going to be a penalty. Luis Diaz, uh, who I think that is. Yeah, that's exactly who it is, as he handed that ball. Yeah, <laughs> yes, he has. It's hit his left arm on the way out. He's tried to settle it with his chest. It smacked his hand on the way out. Diogo Jota to take the penalty here. There's Diogo Jota, the shot. Into the bottom corner, Crystal Palace 1 0 up. Illuminati's confirmed? I don't even know. Anyways. Well, good penalty from Diogo. Pope guesses the wrong way, unfortunately, for him after making the brilliant save. That led to the corner. Sorry, but before we continue, we are going to look at that uh, handball one more time. Uh oh, are we? There we go. So here it is on its way in. And there's Luis Diaz in the middle. Yep, I mean, he's. Yeah, well, I mean, unfortunately, that is definitely going to be a penalty every time. Correct call. As much as I would hate to see, you know, that sort of thing, even if if that's a deciding goal, you'd hate to see it end like that. Of course, still a lot of time left here, but you never know with these games. Of course, the Arsenal United fixture we just had went to the, was it 76th minute before we found our first goal? It's Moussa Tiabi. Trying to get past Virgil van Dijk, not this time. You're not going to get the Dutchman that easily. Luis Diaz now, who will uh, now be having the feeling that he's going to strike back on behalf of his on behalf of his error. Trent Alexander Arnold. Here's James Madison tackled by the defender Lucas Digne. Cody Gakpo now trying to work inwards. He's got it backwards to Gonzalo Montiel and Diaby again. It's Diaby. Oh, Diaby's going to get past Virgil van Dijk. The shot. Oh, it's in off the woodwork and it's in for a second. Well, great finish from Diaby. And I'm a little surprised he was able to get past van Dijk. He's actually put it behind the Dutchman then. In off the woodwork on the far post. Brilliant finish. And for Palace going up 2-0 away. The Palace squad that a couple of games ago, you didn't even know if they could beat Liverpool. Matter of fact, they drew Liverpool. That's no offense to Frenchy. I apologize for making that sound a bit harsh. But that is the that, that is the, legitima the legitimacy of that scenario. It's Diaby now. To Diogo Jota. There's Casimiro inwards to Pau Torres. Torres, who was actually brought quite far up the pitch forward. I don't know why that was the case. 
Rafael Varane back to Montiel. Back to Varane again. For Sven Botman. To Paulinha. Botman to Torres. Inwards to Casimiro. Over to Lucas Digne. Here's Cody Gakpo. Gakpo trying to work inwards now versus his former teammate Van Dijk. And Van Dijk tackles well. And now it's Mohamed Salah. Madison tackled well. Digne has Diogo Jota. Well, trying to slip it through to Gakpo. Past the defender. Couldn't get it. Salah to Erickson. Ben Botman doing his best here. Well, it's going to be a free kick in the favor of uh, Wolverhampton. Substitution already being made. What is happening here? Christian Eriksen. That is... What the hell? Has Eriksen gone down with an injury? Is that... What? Why? Why Why have they done that? Shot taken. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. What a powerful strike that was. Diaby. Oh, Diaby working inwards. Diaby's got... Whoa, that one's gone in. Well, that one you didn't expect. And Musa Diaby puts in a third for Crystal Palace. Here it is again. He's relatively by himself here. He's gone to the near post. He's had Diogo Jota in the middle. And no one said he's trying to take he's tried to take it himself, and he's done just that. He's gone. He's gone to nutmeg Nick Pope, I'm afraid. It's a very strange game here. Why Christian Eriksen was, was was taken off that early. And of course, Palace up 3-0 now. Van Dijk. There's Panate. Madison. Andrew Robertson now trying to work inwards. He's got Luis Diaz. To Robertson, the shot. <laughs> and well, the man who used to play for Crystal Palace strikes back. Well, here it is again. He's relatively worked past his colleagues in defense, his former colleagues in defense, and he's able to get a shot past uh, Gonzalo Montiel relatively with ease with his right foot. Brilliant shot, has to be said. Arnaud Danjuma appears to have been put at the top of the formation here. Kai Havertz has dropped further back in midfield. Two minutes added time to be played. Trent Alexander-Arnold to Havertz to Trent. Versus Cody Gakpo. Gakpo does get a good tackle, but uh, Wolverhampton still pressing very high up the pitch now. Can't get it to Musa Diaby. That'll be it for the first half. Very odd first half this. 3-1 in favor of Crystal Palace. Musa Diaby with two goals so far today. Diogo Jota from the penalty spot was the first one. I'm still wondering why they took off Christian Eriksen that early. But what? That None of that was penalties. Promise you that. Well, one of them. Anyways. Can I look at the performance? If they rated Christian Eriksen that low that they've taken him off early. Havertz is at a 4-9. Where did they where did they have Christian Eriksen? He was a 6-2. Why did he was he hurt? That's that is the only reason I could see why they've decided to do him off that or that that quickly. I, I don't get it.
Huh. Weird. Uh, well, anyways. Even our score bug is messed up now. 3-1 is the correct score. Only then of Diogo Jota's goal was, on, was from the penalty spot. Here's Gonzalo Montiel to Cody Gakpo. It's Musa Diaby. Diaby to Diogo Jota. Well, tackled well by Konate. Throw here and a substitution being made. Will be that for Crystal Palace. Paulinha will be replaced by Matoma. Should provide some extra attacking presence in midfield there for Palace, although, again, a very early substitution being made. I'm not sure why they've chosen to do that. There's Diaby. Oh, it's going to be offsides. And let's see how close was that. Yep, just the leg and the shoulder. Yep, good call. Madison. Madison to Luis Diaz, inwards to Darnot. Danjuma shot blocked, another one. That one's going to go, and it is Kai Havertz. And 3 2 the score. Great pass in. Well, the shot blocked off of Arnot Danjuma, and Kai Havertz puts one in. 3 2 the score. And Crystal Palace suddenly need to play better. This is an interesting situation for Crystal Palace now. Any sort of advantage that they did have is now out the window, really. There's Kanate. Gnate trying to work forwards now. Gnate to Mohamed Salah. Ramsdale's going to come well out of his box to get that one. Up to Mitsoma. We'll try to head it back to Sven Botman. That one's going to go out of play. Poor header. And a substitution being made. It will be Pau Torres being replaced. What? Why? Why are we taking a defender off for a slow midfielder? Interesting decision. Well, Matoma's been brought down there versus Luis Diaz. It's Arnaut Danjuma versus Rafael Varane. He may turn past him here. No good tackle by Varane. And now it's Matoma. Back to Sven Botman. Tackled by Luis Diaz. And now Wolverhampton on the attack again. An hour gone. Half an hour remains. Luis Diaz. And now for a goal kick. <laughs> to the feet of James Ward Prowse. Casimiro back to Ward Prowse and Diaby. Good passing here in the midfield. Diaby trying to work forwards now. Diaby, oh, can he get it slipped through to Cody Kak? But he can. Back to Musa Diaby. Tackled away that time. That was a good looking attack there for Palace. Nothing of it. Salah. Madison now trying to work forwards. Wolverhampton on the attack again. This is looking dangerous. It's James Madison. Tackled by Gonzalo Montiel. Oh, maybe not. Still Madison on it. That time tackled by Dignan. About 20 minutes remain here. It's Casimiro to Ward Prowse. Now wide to Batoma. Botman. 
Again, some good passing by Palace, but the moment they lose the ball, that Wolverhampton squad looking well. There's Diogo Chota. Up to Diaby. That one tackled, and Virgil van Dijk good defending. Fifteen minutes remain here. Mohamed Salah. He's at Kai Havertz. Inwards, Arnaud Danjuma. Still working now. It's Kai Havertz. Havertz the shot turned away by Ramsdale. And a substitution being made. It looks that Moussa Diaby will be replaced by Scott McTominay. McTominay's first time touching the field this season. Play short to Madison. Alexander Arnold. Almost Salah trying to work inwards. Lucas Digne still there. Back to Trent Alexander Arnold. Spanate. Over to Virgil van Dijk. It's Madison to Mohamed Salah. Or no, that's Arnaut Tanjuma. Sorry about that. He's got McTominay now. To Gakpo, to Diogo Jota. Inwards to James Ward Prowse. Oh, he may have that one slip through to Matoma on the far side. It's Matoma to Jota, back to Matoma again. Ten minutes remain. And he's not going to get past Andrew Robertson in the corner. Not really cleared away well, back to the feet of Thiago Jota. That one tackled, though, by Trent Alexander-Arnold. And it's James Madison. Kai Havertz, has Luis Diaz, has Denjuma, has Salah forward. It's Mohamed Salah, tackled by Gonzalo Montiel. Matoma inwards to Casimiro. Oh, may have through here to Cody Gakpo. Cody Gakpo looking versus his former squad. Can he get past his former teammate of Trent Alexander-Arnold? Not that time, and Nick Pope gets it away. Just a couple of minutes remaining now. It's Kai Havertz. Oh, Mohamed Salah might have space. Mohamed Salah, the shot. Brilliant save by Ramsdale. And Salah to take the corner. Well, dangerous. Dangerous attacking pretty much the whole time so far from Wolverhampton. That ball swung in, headed away, but not very well back at the feet of Van Dyke. That one looks as if it may have been a little bit better. Three minutes added time, McTominay finds Lucas Digne. They may have Diogo Jota back inwards to McTominay. Casimiro, Scott McTominay actually playing halfway decently well in midfield having not played so far this season. Scott McTominay. Ward Prowse to Cody Gakpo. Can he get past Virgil van Dyke? No, he can't. And Konate trying to get this one back forward. And that's going to do it. After one of the most odd games we've seen this season, Crystal Palace win 3-2. Tell you what, Wolverhampton battled back very well. But Crystal Palace... Got themselves the advantage quite early. Although that one, again, had to be said. Very sketchy a result there for Palace. But Musa Diaby with two goals. And we'll have to wait and see if Crew Alexander can manage a good, a good result versus Liverpool. And for our penultimate game of the match, Shea, we head to Gretzi Road for Crew Alexandra hosting... Liverpool here, which should be a fantastic game. Remember, Crew Alexander dropped points today. That'll put Crystal Palace into the second spot, second position in the table. Crew Alexander need a good result here. A good win will do it. That'll put them ahead, at least still on goal difference. For Liverpool, they'll be hoping for some points. I think they've got a good enough squad to do it. They did, out after all, knock out this Crew Alexander squad in the first round of the domestic cup. They played very well against Arsenal. Of course, did get knocked out by the eventual title winners. 
couple of changes in this Liverpool squad. They've moved Ivan Perisic out to the left wing. They've moved out of uh, they've moved Abereki Eze to the right wing. They've moved uh, Kulisevsky inwards to that right midfielder position. Mateo Kovacic still the same. And they've put uh, new signing Wataru Endo. Endo. Good lord, I can't pronounce it. Wataru Endo. <laughs> into the midfield alongside uh, Mateo Kovacic in the middle. Here's Julian Alvarez back to Edson Alvarez. Here's Jorginho. Kulisevsky trying to press. Can't quite do it. Here's Giovanni Lo Celso. On that ball hit behind, I'm afraid. Julian Alvarez may get it by the time he gets to the corner and does. Bruno Guimares, tackled by Endo. Out for a throw here. Final game of the day coming up after this. It'll be Ipswich hosting that of Southampton. Should be a fantastic fixture. There's Perisic to Endo. Jesus, over to Jorginho. Diaz trying to work well here, does, but still to Giovanni Lo Celso. Now it's versus Mateo Kovacic, Julian Alvarez the shot and it's in. Julian Alvarez the first then of the day for Crew Alexandra. Fantastic goal this. Giovanni Lo Celso made a great pass, knew he was in trouble versus Kovacic. Fouled Alvarez in the middle. And Romero can't get in the way. Estupinian doesn't bother to get in the way. And it's 1-0 to Crew Alexandra. Play Liverpool throw. There's Kyle Walker. Kyle Walker up to a Eze. Eze tackled. Gabriel Jesus. Diaz trying to pressure up to Julian Alvarez. Tackled by Romero. Actually, good clearance, good tackle. And here's Endo. Well, if Perisic can get onto that, and that'll be a great ball, but I don't think he can. Good idea from Endo. Couldn't quite get there. Here's Bruno Guimares. Back to Martinez. And to Guimares again. Chenko to Estupinian. Inwards to Giovanni Lo Celso. Oh, sorry, well, that was Bruno Guimarez versus Estupinian. I believe they're both working. Uh, I'm, I'm so stupid. I'm sorry. I can't. There's Bruno Guimarez to Giovanni Lo Celso. Gabriel Jesus, the shot in the second for Crew. And the woes for Liverpool continue as Gabriel Jesus put in a second for Crew Alexandra. Actually did well to find the space mid uh, inwards and, well, I'm afraid none of the defenders coming to the rescue there for Liverpool. Endo. Endo up to Ivan Perisic. Perisic may have space here if he can find some sort of way to turn. It's Endo. Endo the shot saved well by Allison. And first shot of the day for Liverpool goes to their most recent acquisition. 
good save from Allison. Actually reacted well. Got him on the shin. Very little behind that Allison, really. Out for a corner. That ball swung in at about the six-yard box. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this looked like a superhero there. He's punched through two different people as Allison. But it's back in the feet of Paris of uh, Kulisevsky now. Versus Alvarez, and Alvarez tackles. It's Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus trying to look forwards. Still trying to work inwards. Estupini in a good tackle that time. Back to Hugo Lloris. There's Diaz. There's Mateo Kovacic. Trying to work forward, finds Estupinian on the near side. There's Endo. There's Romero. Back to, well, he tried to get it to Diaz. Diaz didn't pick it up. Romero will have to stay with it here. Giovanni Lo Celso. Backwards to Jorginho. It's Alvarez. First half about to come to a close here. Crew Alexander up 2-0 over Liverpool. Alvarez. Alvarez trying to get past Kyle Walker now. Has Gabriel Jesus to Jorginho. Jorginho to Bruno Guimaraes, the shot in a third. Well, Bruno Guimaraes with a third then for Crew Alexander here. Able to find a great pass, and he's taking it on his right foot very well. Romero can't get in front of it. One minute at a time then. I think for Liverpool that'd be slightly welcome. There it is. 3-0 at the end of the half. For Alexandra. Well, there's no other way to say it. They've dominated this game so far. And for Liverpool, much more the same, I'm afraid. Julian Alvarez, Gabriel Jesus, and Bruno Guimaraes, the three goal scorers for Crew. That crew have had more of the ball, and that seems about right. Just the one shot so far from Liverpool. Yeesh. That is not a good look for Liverpool. Bruno Gomares, 8 rated so far. Worst player on the team so far has been Pedro Porro. I actually don't even know if he's touched the ball so far yet today. Oh, yeah, he's had a little bit on that side. Crew Alexander getting us back underway. Reminder, still yet to come. We do have Ipswich hosting Southampton. That should be a fun fixture. Both of those squads hungry for goals. Ipswich after winning last time out versus Crew Alexandra. There's Bruno Guimaraes. Tackled by uh, Endo in midfield. It's Ivan Perisic now. Back to Estupinian. Romero, over to Estepinian. Harisic, Callum Wilson. There's Endo, Waturu Endo, and it's out for a goal kick. He's 
trying to place it at the far post past Allison. I'm afraid he's just got it wrong. Kulisevsky gets the ball in midfield, has a Barak Eze. Has Perisic. Well, tried to find it inwards, but it ends up at the feet of Endo. To Perisic. To Eze. Eze tackle. The defending by Crew has been, you know, a lot of the reason why they've scored so well today. That and the passing has been phenomenal by this squad. Truly looking like a team that should be at the top of the table where they belong. Of course, they'll still be tied with uh, Crystal Palace on points. Although the shot and a fourth for Crew Alexander, it's Gabriel Jesus. Well, they'll be tied with Palace on points, certainly not goal difference. This Crew squad is putting them in in the droves. And we'll see it again here. Good pass inwards, he's had to dribble. It's not even dribble, he's taking it first time. Maurice has no chance at the near post. Even with two Liverpool defenders on him, I'm afraid it's just not going to do it. Well, that'll be Gabriel Jesus' second of the day. 4-0 to Crew Alexandra. There's Jorginho to Gabriel Jesus. Oh, Jesus has slipped himself through. Well, I thought not quite. Bruno Guimaraes, the shot. Good save that time from Lloris. Corner swung in. Martinez headed. Oh, and a fifth. Well, Martinez puts it away on the header from well a ways away. How has Lloris not saved that? Where has he actually ended up shooting that one from? That is, I mean, well a ways away, just a looping header. Lloris just can't get onto it somehow. Brilliant way to find the goal, first of all, for Martinez, but I think... I, I, how has Lloris not saved that, really? Well, 5 0 the score. And still half an hour remains. They may have Perisic here. Zinchenko looks as if he'll get in the way. Pedro Porro or the Jorginho. It's Giovanni Lo Celso to Gabriel Jesus. It's Lo Celso. Giovanni Lo Celso finds Gabriel Jesus. Jesus trying to move inwards now. As Jorginho tackled by Mateo Kovacic. Ivan Perisic back to Estupinian. It's Kovacic back to Estupinian. I was going to say it was going to be Callum Wilson tackled off the ball. Martinez with it now. There's Alvarez. Zinchenko, 20 minutes remain. It's Jorginho to John Stones in defense, who I think has really only touched the ball once or twice today. It's Julian Alvarez. It's Pedro Poro. Pedro Poro to Alvarez. Back to Pedro Poro. It's John Stones. Tackled and oh, Kulisevsky might be on the attack here. 
Kulisevsky has some space, and he's got Callum Wilson inwards if he needs it. But it's Kulisevsky to Wilson. Wilson, the shot blocked, but it's Eze the rebound, and it's in. And 5-1 the score. And Eberk Eze does well then. Takes his opportunity when it's present. First of all, good shot from Wilson, blocked. And it's left, uh, it's left to Allison out of position. As he was looking to make the save on the first one. Good block from the defender. I'm just afraid it's slightly too much at once then from Crew. And 5-1 the score, still in favor of the hosts. Gabriel Jesus being replaced here. No hat trick for today. Uh, no hat trick for him today, I'm afraid. Jamie Vardy has been the one to uh, replace Gabriel Jesus. Julian Alvarez now tackled. Here's Eze. Callum Wilson has Perisic now. Ten minutes remain. Perisic going to get past Zinchenko here. Back to his opinion. Romero to Diaz. Here's Eze. Tackle. Oh, Giovanni Lo Celso perhaps with space here. Can't quite get past Mateo Kovacic though, I'm afraid. Romero to Kovacic. There's Callum Wilson. Callum Wilson now, perhaps will he have space to shoot? Oh, and I'm afraid as he got into his own player then. I think that was really blocked. And who was that on the, on the side? I think his own teammates got in the way, I'm afraid. It's Bruno Guimarez out wide to Alvarez. Tackled well. It's Endo to Eze. There's Callum Wilson. Wilson has Endo. Endo can he get past Sinchenko here and move inwards. Trying his best. It's Callum Wilson, the shot saved by Allison. Three minutes at a time. And a substitution being made. Giovanni Lo Celso being replaced. Corner swung in. Allison's going to have no difficulty with that one. Bruno Guimarães back to Pedro Poro. And it looks as if well, the referee hasn't blown his whistle yet. And there it is. 5-1 final score. Crew Alexandra with one of the most dominating displays we've seen this season. Fantastic game. Afraid, however, for Liverpool, much more of the same as what they've been used to so far this season. And for our final game of match day 14, it will be Ipswich hosting that of Southampton. Ipswich coming off a good game, defeating Crew Alexandra 3 1 uh, last time out. They're going to be looking for more of the same here after uh, fellow seventh place rivals of that of Southampton. Should be a good game this. Two squads uh, looking to put as many goals as they can. Two squads that absolutely have the ability to do just that. And it will be that of Ipswich getting us underway. Well, already Jaden Sancho trying to move forward. It's Darwin Nunez. Richarlison the shot in an early one for Ipswich. Second minute, Richarlison puts it away. 
Jaden Sancho to Darwin Nunez. Great through ball, then incisive pass to Richarlson. And already, Southampton at a deficit here. Let's see if Southampton can strike back here. Thomas Party has Wangman's son. Back to Lukaku. Just a quick look at the uh, match day 15 fixtures. Arsenal with the bye. Manchester United will host Wolverhampton. Uh, Wrexham will host Crew Alexandra. Crystal Palace will host Ipswich. And Liverpool will host Southampton. A couple of good games coming up. A bit weird to see Arsenal not playing, but uh, that's the case. Kayo Saka now trying to work in. Where's that shot? Blocked well by, I believe, was that Rico Henry? And anyways, Kieran Trippier now. No, it was Gabriel. Apologies for that. To Kanji, to McAllister. Back to a Kanji. Oh, intercepted by Romelu Lukaku, and now it's Raheem Sterling. To Silva. Back to Thomas Party. Now Bukayo Saka. Wangman's son tackled. There's Rice to Barnes. Barnes to Kieran Trippier. It's a Kanji. Harvey Barnes to Darwin Nunez. Can't get past Lewis Dunk, I'm afraid. Kai Osaka over to Bernardo Silva. Here's Raheem Sterling. Sterling now has Wangman's son forward, has Lukaku in support as well. Tackled well by McAllister. Sterling, well tackled. Well, more intercepted than tackled, but it's McAllister with it now. Tackled by Thomas Party, well in defense. And now it's Raheem Sterling. To Wangman's son, back to Silva, back to Thomas Party. There's Silva. Cash in defense. Nathan Ake. Slips it through to Raheem Sterling. Oh, Romelu Lukaku might be onto something here. If he can get past Gabriel. Backwards to Bernardo Silva. Silva now trying to work inwards. Has Raheem Sterling, but a uh, good deflection then by Gabriel, and now Jaden Sancho. And that one taken. It's Thomas Party to Silva. Party again. Has to say it was a very smash and grab effort by uh, that of Ipswich. Southampton has had all the ball this game. Tackled by Rice. And now it's Darwin Nunez. Richarlison. Here in Trippier now. Rice to Barnes. Here's McAllister to Rice over to Richarlison. Barnes can't get past Lewis Dunk. Raheem Sterling. It's Nathan Ake. Thomas Party tackled by Darwin Nunez well. Barnes to Nunez. Darwin Nunez now. To Richarlison, back to Nunez. To Richarlison again. It's Barnes. Barnes to Nunez. Beautiful passing by Ipswich, and it's a second. Well, it has to be say, said, some fantastic passing in the build-up to that goal. Absolutely deserved for Ipswich. That's a quality of football that will make Palace afraid to face them next time out.
brilliantly played in ball, says Arwin Nunez. And a second for Ipswich here. Nathan Ake to Thomas Party and back again. It's very odd. I mean, the Southampton squad, again, relatively unchanged since the uh, first couple of weeks of the season, but it's Wang Min Sun. Whoa, beautiful effort from Sun. Well, it was mid sentence about how the Southampton squad was struggling to put in goals. This is the same squad that dismantled Crystal Palace in match day two. It was a 6 0. Beautiful finish from Sun then. That's kind of the quality of the presence of the attacking that he's brought to Southampton all, so, all season long. I'm afraid Southampton just don't quite have the results to back it up. It's Nathan Ake over to Raheem Sterling now. First half about to come to a close. Oh, tackled by Sancho. No, not quite. Still cash. It's party. Joel to Dunk. To Sterling. Nathan Ake. Bernardo Silva over to Bukayo Saka. Lukaku. Lukaku to Saka. Just the one minute at a time then. We're already past that. Southampton's got to move quickly here. Raheem Sterling. Inwards to Lukaku. Can't find a shot at Kanji. Defends well. And that'll be it for the first half. So despite Ipswich being up 2-1, it has to be said, Southampton looking a better squad here in the recent minutes. Wang Min Sun. Wonderful goal then to put Southampton back within arm's reach of this game. 2-1 the score. Yeah, more possession for Southampton. That sounds absolutely correct. Ipswich, when they have gotten the ball, have immediately moved forwards. Thomas Party appears to be player of the day so far for uh, that of Southampton. Darwin Nunez with it for Ipswich. Goal and assist for him. And we're back underway. Southampton get us going. Dunk to Thomas Party. Party tackled by Declan Rice. Thomas Party's down, we're holding his knee. And Darwin Nunez, can he get past Nathan Ake? He's got McAllister in the middle. As Bukayo Saka and Thomas Party has stayed down. That's a huge knock to Southampton. Didn't really look that cynical a challenge. Or a sinister a challenge, I don't even know. English is not my first language. Who's, who will this be replacing? John McGinn replacing Thomas Party. No Scotland, no party. Oh, wait, hang on just a minute. Oh, tackled is Bernardo Silva. It's Jaden Sancho. Good 
defense that time from Southampton, although played short. Still not out of the danger yet. We'll have to get it there very quickly. Here's John McGinn. There's Bernardo Silva. Has Lukaku. Sterling. Swingman's son. Well, it might be through to Raheem Sterling here. Raheem Sterling, well, that shot, uh, I think, actually, actually deflected out of play then. Not for a goal kick. Well, just to look at the shot again from Wingman's son. Great finish. I can look at that one all day. Beautiful stuff from the Korean. versus Declan Rice here, tackled. Here in Trippier out wide. Back to Rice. Sun does well to defend. Now it's John McGinn. Sun, tackled by Trippier. Hour gone here, half an hour remains. Still very even between the two sides. Darwin Nunez to Jaden Sancho. Tackled well. Now it's Mikayo Saka. Saka to Silva. Silva to Raheem Sterling. Tackled well by Rico Henry. And now it's Jaden Sancho. Here's Alexis McAllister. Tackled by Bukayo Saka. And now it's Raheem Sterling on it to Hoingman Son. Son tackled. Now it's Darwin Nunez. Richarlison, Harvey Barnes to Nunez, back to Richarlison, back to Barnes again. Now Ipswich looking well, it's Richarlison. At the touchline, still trying to work inwards, has it to Declan Rice. Declan Rice tackled. And now it's with Romelu Lukaku, the Belgian. Kayosaka. Sterling to Matty Cash now. Southampton working well here. They may find a goal here shortly if they can, but Akanji tackles. 20 minutes remain. Richarlison to Darwin Nunez, tackled by Nathan Ake. Well, Richarlison may have space forwards here, chooses to pass backwards, gets it again. Here's Karrion Trippier. Now Twangman's son down the left side, and we may have space here, and more importantly than space, he's got Raheem Sterling. Sterling, can he get through to Lukaku? No, Akanji gets in the way. It would have been a sure goal then if Lukaku ended up on it. There's Matt Gallister to Jaden Sancho. Back to Rico Henry. Lukaku trying to pressure, back over to McAllister, to Declan Rice, to Kanji. Here's Richarlison. Can he get past Wingman's son? No. Here's Kanji. Kanji to Barnes. Barnes, well, he wanted it through there to uh, Declan, uh, to Darwin Nunez. I'm afraid it was a mishit pass. Pickford's got to get rid of it, it does. Finds Nathan Ake. Raheem Sterling. Sterling has John McGinn. Chilwell. Tackled by Trippier. Now Charleston may have space. If he can get around Ben Chilwell, we'll have Kyrie and Trippier on the right side of the touchline. Inwards to Declan Rice, back to Trippier. Accepted by John McGinn. And now it's Bernardo Silva to Raheem Sterling. Sterling with a concerning amount of space here has Lukaku. Raheem Sterling, the shot saved. And now for a corner, substitution being made. Fabian Sharp will replace uh, Alexis McAllister and Raheem Sterling. Uh, 
being replaced then by Zaniolo. And a corner here for Southampton. Corner swung in. Heinkman's son tried to header it. Now at the feet of Nathan Ake to Silva. Silva to McGinn. It's Heinkman's son. It's John McGinn. Through to Zaniolo. It's Lukaku the shot saved well. Ray out with a crucial save. Hardly any time left here. Two minutes added time, and here it is again. Brilliant save then. Necessary one at that. Southampton nearly equalized. Still a chance here. Bernardo Silva with the corner. Corner swung in. It's Lewis dunk the header. Can't get it. Lukaku doesn't put an effort to it. And collected by Rea. And kicked up field. And that will do it. Ipswich 2-1 over Southampton. Their second consecutive win of the season. Great game there. For that of Ipswich for Southampton. Spent a lot of time on the ball. To not end up with any points here. That's slightly disappointing from them. Darwin Nunez a great goal. And that'll do it for match day 14.